You're welcome to another edition of Trends on KDM. And on today's episode, we jump straight to Kojo Forex and Kojo Sheldon. Now, Kojo Forex is a forex trader in Ghana. He's, he's very successful. He's recently acquired a Tesla Cybertruck, one of the few Cybertrucks we have in Ghana. And Kojo Sheldon is a popular YouTuber in Ghana. Now, these two people are having a bout now back and forth trolling each other because um apparently there's something that came up and it's from Kojis Forrest's camp when he was talking about a benchmark he personally believes that if you were a Ghanaian and you're around 30 years you should at least have that financial benchmark and Kojo Sheldon, be Kojo Sheldon believes that that benchmark was quite insensitive and unrealistic especially looking at the economic situation in Ghana now Okay, let, let me just read the tweet that sort of generated all of these bruhaha and uh, let's, let's, let's see and dissect and then go and examine it properly. You understand? Yeah. So this is from Kojo Forest and what he's saying is no age range as a limitation, but if you are 30 years plus as of now, you should have seen and made your first 100,000 Ghana cities at least. This is equivalent to just six thousand one fifty dollars today if you haven't made it yet check yourself first then check your friends and circles so okay so what could you show could you forest is basically saying that at the age of 30 if you are above 30 years uh and you live in ghana at least you should have roughly hundred thousand ghana cities uh in your bank account now <laughs> charlie it's 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 i think it's an ambitious benchmark i feel as youth and as people of this country i believe that it's only right for us to actually have a benchmark financial benchmark since you can't take finances out of life right so i believe that it's 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 a wake-up call from him that we can do it it's a wake-up call from him that we we can do more for ourselves okay that at least by the time you reach a certain threshold you should have some level of uh, money in your bank account and that's hundred thousand Ghana cities but honestly speaking if everything being equal hundred thousand Ghana cities is is not even it Charlie because looking at how the economy is hundred thousand Ghana cities is no is no money seriously man like you know go use this money to do anything because um the economy is Charlie it's it's crazy you you literally can't do a lot with this money if you are not even careful and you don't know how to manage it well so technically speaking, I think he's even giving us uh, like a good benchmark for us to work with, right? But the problem is, Kojo Sheldon believes that this is quite insensitive because, I mean, looking at the realistic, the economic situation in Ghana right now, where the youth are suffering and a lot of people are talking about the economy, he feels like some of these things, in a way, sort of um, um, twist the youth's minds and it leads to people going to create some kind of... Um, um, by force or some the person has to find a way to make it okay because the moment you set this benchmark and there's somebody that's above 30 that is not able to actually reach this benchmark the person be believes or feels like he's a failure so now what this does is now boys are finding dubious means and any ways any means possible to make it because some of these people or sort of um from Ko kojo Sh sheldon's point of view um put these kind of um conversations out there that will sort of um lead some guys to do or some girls to do certain things that charlie uh it's not always the best okay but like i said okay it's it's i, I believe that it's it's not a bad thing i mean as youth we should be ambitious and we should take our finances serious and hundred thousand ghana cities bro listen there's no money in ghana here okay right now if you have that money charlie if you are not careful within a month you go blow them all i'm i'm serious bro so it, 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 i understand where kojo forest is coming from and at the same time i understand where sheldon is also coming from okay because i mean look at how the economic situation is right how many youths are actually going to actually um be able to work in a way to get that money see boys are working hard but the pay they are taking charlie it can't even it can't even no the salary they are even taking like even food alone most most of the ghanaian guys and the girls here the salaries they are taking most of them are going to tnt if it's not going to tnt food food cry can't cover all of them because now 
every single day things are increasing and the companies are not increasing their salaries so now people are stressed financially so when there's a lot of stress financially like economic situation financial stress like this and some of these conversations are coming up i understand why maybe koji sheldon would feel the way he's feeling about what koji forest said okay because i mean technically you can't say that koji sheldon is saying that because he's broke because koji sheldon is doing very well for himself because of the youtube um empire that right now he's built right but He's speaking based on, I mean, probably he has been in that situation before. He has, he, he, he knows the situation around. So he's speaking based on the fact that he feels like for the ordinary Ghanaian, for the ordinary youth, this is quite a huge and insensitive benchmark from Kojo Forest that he's giving to the youth. And he should be realistic because he made mention that even some people will even go to work and they know, they, even they will struggle for torture, you know. So it's, it's, it's. It's it's here and there, you, you know. It's so so, you know. It's here and there because if you are looking at it from the ambitious point of view, then Kojo Forest is actually trying to uh, push the youth to actually do more for themselves because he mentioned that if you are not getting that money, then you should look at your circles and you should look at yourself. But where I have the problem is he didn't actually add the fact that the economic situation around you or the economic environment around you can also facilitate facilitate some of these things. Or facilitate your ability to actually gain this money because some people it's not like they are lazy it's not like they are not working hard or it's not like they they have the wrong people around them things are just not good in this country and it's very difficult to sort of amass this level of wealth even some people are 50 years bro in this country they can't they've not even seen this money many people not some people in the country that we live in the one that i'm sitting in right now unless he's there's a different Ghana that they, 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 they are talking about. But this Ghana that I'm living in, Charlie, when you are getting money in Ghana, you think that maybe some people might be lazy, but sometimes you have to be honest with ourselves. The country we live in, it's, it's not easy to actually come out like that. Okay. And I, I, I understand. I understand where this feud is coming from. Because the, the forest, Koji Forest thinks he's right because he's pushing the guys. And Koji Sheldon feels like he's all over overstretching the ability of some of the guys and these are some of the things that will lead boys into um, certain um, jobs and certain things that is not particularly uh, positive for the society or will make positive impact for the society so since yesterday Sheldon and Forrest which is Forrest has been at it going at each other where <laughs> Koyo Forrest is been saying that he will buy uh, Koyo Sheldon studio and turn it into a poultry farm <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> uh, this job, eh, if you had uh, now, it, it's 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 one of those things. I mean, he's just throwing shades at him, and it's funny because not long ago, Kojo Sheldon hosted Kojo For Forest in his studios, and they had a good conversation about a whole lot of things. So some of these things, sometimes, I believe it's just one of those things, and uh, uh, agreeing to disagree is one of those things. We are all trying to at least at least give a good perspective on how life should be done for most of the youth but Charlie some of these things I think it's 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 something that some sometimes it's it, you can't particularly say this person is wrong or this person is right okay the only reason why most people are moving to Koji Sheldon after what he said about the economic situation is the fact that he's been one of the huge members one of the people that are seriously uh, pushing for the sitting government to actually retain power and because he said he spoke about the economic situation some people feel felt like he's having double standard because if you know that there is a bad economic situation and things are not well in this country why are you still advocating for these people to be in power so that's where most boys view the line with Koji Sheldon even though personally I feel what you were saying made a lot of sense because I mean naturally speaking most Ghanaians that we, we know most youth that we know looking at the job they do and the situations that they are in it will be very difficult for them to amass that kind of wealth around 30 years because for the Ghanaian youth life normally begins at 30 right so it's one of those things but people feel like Koji Sheldon himself is not credible enough to talk about economic situation because you are the same person that you said we should vote for the same people that are not handling the country well so if you are advocating for these people and then you were very, very sure that the economic situation is not good. Is it because of your personal interest that's why you are advocating for us to vote for these people? 
that's why i mean boys are moving to you but take away the facts take away the political um allegations of i mean everybody has the right to sort of decide on who, who he personally feels like when they come to power they will be of help to him okay but taking away that fact i think what Koji sheldon is saying personally i feel like it's it's quite i mean if you are if you're a Ghanaian like myself and then you understand the situation in ghana i don't think what he's saying is far-fetched from the truth okay neither am i saying that Kojo forest also is wrong but i'm saying that everybody has a perspective and the way they are speaking from okay from Kojo, Kojo forest's perspective he is talking about we should be more ambitious and define our circle and then find means to actually survive amidst the struggle because he himself has made it some people that he's around also have made it so he believes that it's possible for me and you but Kojo sheldon said no you are being insensitive even though you have money you should also think about all of us so at the end of the day the question remains who has the best interest of the Ghanaian youth at heart is it Kojo Forest or Kojo Sheldon that one I will leave it to you to decide